movement tips and lifestyle hacks brought to you by FitLab PGH. Movement, a part of making your life complete. FitLab PGH back with another movement tip and lifestyle hack movie. If you're watching our movies on a regular basis, you know that we spend a lot of time talking about the posterior chain or things that are going to help get you out of that slump position. If you're thinking, why don't they do anything that talks about the front of the body or anything that makes the pecs stronger or works on stretching the pecs or the anterior shoulder muscles, it's because we find with our clients, they're involved in activities that just kind of hunch them all over like that. We live in Pittsburgh, which is an aging city, so we see a lot of older people. We see the effects of lots and lots of years of not doing movement tips and lifestyle hacks to help make life more beneficial. So I'm somebody who's involved in the movement, health, fitness, exercise industry, and like many others in this industry, I like toys. If it's a toy that I can make myself without having to invent it, that's even better. So this is, for those of you who come from the Pilates background or have taken Pilates class, this is what the Pilates world would call a gondola pole. It's actually a uh, curtain rod or a rod from Home Depot, five feet long, inch and a quarter in diameter, little rubber caps on each end. We like the five and a quarter to, or five foot long just because for people who have relatively wide shoulders, it gives them some movement. So what we can do this for this is again, just kind of reinforcing, working on extension muscles and also working on being able to raise the arms without shrugging the shoulders. So we're able to not have overly active upper traps. We're able to bring in the lower and middle traps and the rhomboids as we move the shoulder joint. All things we do, we like to have hacks so we can do uh, multiple things. We think about active feet, knees lifted up. We think about ribs and pelvis connected. So we've got our core engaged. We reach out in this position. And what a lot of people want to do is they want to rest their head on the floor. We don't want them to do that. We want them to turn those back extensors on isometrically. What we do is we have them hold here, draw the shoulders down their back, lengthen out of the top back of the head, inhale and smoothly Exhale. So what we're doing is we're working on shoulder flexion. Some clients will have difficulty or some people will have difficulty lifting up. Other clients will find it relatively easy. So then maybe we work on holding with it up and then maybe we bring on the exhale a little bit of swan in. So we're kind of making them familiar with what it's like to move the shoulders a little bit without shrugging the shoulders or without activating the upper traps excessively. We may also want to work a little bit on shoulder extension so we can put the pole behind the head. We let them go as wide as they want. And again, active head and neck, floating the head. Kind of just lift up, come back down. Lift up, come back down. So these are exercises that we're not looking at for them to build strength with. We're looking at it to activate muscles that maybe have been shut down for a day of work, kind of remind them what good motion is like, and then they can go out about their everyday activities. One other thing that we like to talk about is unlike bench pressing, where you'd like to see a closed grip so the bar can't drop. When we do these exercises, we like to use an open grip where the thumbs are in line with the fingers. The reason for that is there's a tendency when we let you to close the grip there's a tendency to kind of round the shoulders in. So it's easier if you keep an open grip to think about keeping the shoulders nice and open. This is another movement tip and lifestyle hack idea from FitLab PGH. Thanks for watching. Three times a week, FitLab PGH brings you a movement tip or lifestyle hack. Thanks to the Pilates body for providing us a locale for filming.